What's up, comic book collectors, toy hunters, and geeks of the world? Welcome back to the Hot Six with your host, PJ and the Beard. It is a new comic book day, January 12th? Tw 12th. 12th, 2021. We're here at All Seas Collectibles in beautiful Aurora, Colorado. We got some special, special picks for you today. Um, we got some fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's coming up? What's coming up? We got uh, WandaVision coming up. WandaVision can start Friday. This Friday. Wrestling's going strong. Wrestling is going strong. Survivor oh, yeah. Series, like three weeks away. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's the Royal Rumble, sorry, not Survivor yeah. Series. My bad. Call it what you want. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be wrestling. It's going to be awesome. Let's wrestle. Yeah. Uh, other than that, pretty much steady geeks as steady always. Geek stuff, yeah. Here we yep, go. Sure. Uh, you ready? Let's do this. Here we go. You ever had a dream that, 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 that? You, you, what you can do. Mr. Beard, what do you got for the comic fans this week? First up from Marvel, we got Star Wars Darth Vader number nine. Oh. It's been a good read. Solo Darth Vader messing people up. The assassin returns. You can't go wrong. It's a good read. It's one of the Marvel's greatest books. This is a little different art than what we're used to on the covers. I a think. little bit, a yeah. little bit. Not as sharp as it usually is. So exposed leg right there. It's like got the bottom half of his suit. Oh, yeah. Off. Where's your boots, bro? In his arm. Got part of his arm cut off. It's, wherever he is, really messing him up. Dude, time to get back in the shop. And the next fun crossover in the King in Black storyline is Gwynnum versus Carnage. That's a cool cover. Yeah. Gwynnum versus Carnage should be a fun fight. Have you been reading the King in Black? I I have them all. I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but I've heard good things. Everybody I've talked to who's read it seems to enjoy it a lot. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I should be caught up on Venom. It's in the stack because I finally sorted all my comics I needed to yeah, read. Yeah. And it's oh, in yeah. the it's in the stack. I just got to actually make the stack go down. Dang. For those of you who don't know, Beard, um, it's it's a big deal for him to organize his books. That's a, yeah, it's pretty like much that. just the last year's worth of stuff. It doesn't include all the stuff that other that, that I still need to go through. But <laughs> that's it's a, a start. It says it all there. Right. The last year's worth of stuff. Right. <laughs> ne right. The next up. King in Black miniseries is Planet of the Symbiotes. I'm digging this. That's just kind of a cool cover, man. Just him like crushing a planet. Yeah. Looking creepy. all evil. Yeah, like werewolfy. But it looks more like an evil vampire. Than yeah. <laughs> than than a symbiote god, but a. That's yeah, uh, some messed up. Near symbiote god, you can look like whatever you want. Right, King of the Void. Then next up, from Image, we got a new book called Ha <laughs> Ha. Ooh. This is from the creators, uh, if I remember correctly, of Ice Cream Man. Ice Cream Man, huge hit. Yep. So the, he likes he likes the clown theme or something like that. You yeah. know? So maybe it's just because clowns people find clowns creepy sometimes. Yeah. This could uh, be a secret sleeper, huh? Yeah. It should be a fun read. I'm looking forward to reading it. Nice. Damn. Then back into DC, continuing their future state story. We have Dark Detective. Dark detective. Yes, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's Bruce Wayne, not as a, not as Batman, but as a detective. He's just being a detective. Interesting. In the future, so it's kind of a cool story. I'm looking forward to reading it. It's got a cool concept. Yeah. It's got a whole like futuristic Blade Runner color scheme going on. Yeah, I'm digging that that uh, city. Just need some flying cars and some weapon points running around. Right. Giant digital ad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then keeping with the Future State theme, we got Justice League. Future State Justice League. Future State League. Justice League. Cool thing about this book is it's got Justice League Dark as the backup story. That's a good thing. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. I read the Batman one last week. I liked the Batman story. I didn't hate it. I think they changed everybody up. Huh? Yeah, it's all like a whole completely different crew. Except for, uh, it's like John Kent. Yeah. Is that... Fox? It's Tim Fox. Tim Fox. Is there, oh, there's a light. There's a light. I keep hitting the I keep hitting the cable. I'm sorry. <laughs> and something special for the folks. We got this awesome, oh. awesome Spider-Man retro Marvel Legends, J. Jonah Jameson. Comes up with a roll of paper for beating the dog. 
Look at that. Or smacking his interns. Yep. I just throw around his desk. Parker! Parker! Where are my pictures? Yep. And the Daily Bugle headline. This figure's really awesome. I'm going to have to pick one up myself. Spider Sham. Yeah. Sick. Yep. They did a nice job on loving this Spider-Man retro series. Really liked it. Really liked yeah. it. Nice, nice picks. Let's do a real quick recap for the folks. Out this week, we got Star Wars Darth Vader number nine. We have uh, Gwenom versus Venom. Venom versus Gwenom. Planet of the Symbiotes. The new Ha Ha from the Image. Ha Ha. Future State Dark Detective and Future State Justice League out from DC. And then we also have the new Spider-Man Retro Marvel Legends, J. Jonah Jameson. Super, super dope. Nice awesome picks, figure. Beard. Nice picks. Congratulations again to our winner last week, Andrew. He was the winner of our last giveaway for 2020. And uh, make sure you tune in next week, and we'll announce our first giveaway for 2021. Wow. Yeah. So uh, that being free said, stuff. Free, free stuff. Yeah. Follow, share, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>